So you go first. Okay. So here is a clock we get um, due to some technical issues. Uh, our earphones just broken. So in theory, our clock, uh, oh, sorry, our speaker will uh, work well. And um, here is a code showing like the clock, the mode and out. When the mode is uh, one, is showing that uh, it allows the speaker to work. So our group use um, the PWM, which is uh, post width modulation um, and use a 20% duty cycle to uh, modulate the, the speaker so that it works uh, pretty well during, uh, as you can see in the simulation. And um, yeah, here's the code showing like the when the module equals one, um, it begins to like activate the speaker. And then when mode equals zero, we just simply uh, let it equal zero. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so it's my turn. Uh, let me share my screen. Uh, you. So I will talk about our our code in a whole. So uh, one one weakness of our code is that I only use um, so one one good thing about our code is that I only use three button to control the whole digital clock. Uh, you, the first one is the transform mode from one mode to another, another mode. You can change current time, change the clock, and use another bar button, and you can add the uh, current time, add the clock, and the third button, button is used to, to reset the whole digital clock. So it's very convenient to, to operate. Um, but uh, there's also something uh, not so good. Uh, you can only as there are eight modes in total, you can only transfer from zero to one, one to two, two to three, and, and two to seven, and you come back to the mode zero. Um, oh, maybe that's it. And uh, also, uh, you can see here, this, our, this is our top module. It, uh, its output is um, the same segment display and the speak to control the, uh, the, the speaker, but now it's control the LED. Uh, the LED is this LED is show what mode are you in now, and this is a normal clock input, a reset, a reset alarm, and a push aid and push trans. I actually don't use a reset alarm because I feel it's not, uh, not necessary. Uh, this is our clock divider. We use a counter to divide the clock to one HC per second. And uh, this is our is a finite state machine. Uh, finite state machine. It uh, is used to generate a sequence. Uh, the sequence can control the mode, which mode are you in? Uh, you are in. So this is our clock. Uh, increment clock is also uh, in this module. You can set alarm here. Um, this is display 12 hour format. Uh, the change hour to 12 hour format. And this one is used to indicate it's afternoon or before the noon. And this is binary to BCD code. Uh, this is a display control. Uh, it's include uh, a seven second display control, something like this. Uh, this is a comparator. Uh, it will, will uh, the, this volume will become one when the alarm and uh, uh, when the alarm and uh, current time is equal. And uh, the, this volume will go into this module and will turn on the speaker, but now it's the LED. 
um, anyways, it's just like this. Oh, there is also one counter in the comparison model, so I so that um, it can come to the ten second and will turn itself off. And this is a constraint file. Uh, you can see the clock, the LED, the Samsung display, and the speaker. No, so I don't use it now. I use another LED. Uh, this is basically our lab full code. That's it. Thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm Zheng Yi Yang. This is our lab full video. Uh, lab for demo street uh, demo video and uh, the, I use this Samsung display to show the time and the three button to control it. This one is a transfer button. It can transfer the alarm from one state to another state. There are eight states in total. Uh, state one, uh, state zero, you can see the current time. State one, two, three, you can change the hour, minute, and uh, second for the alarm. Um, state. Uh, Four to six, you can change the hour, minute, second for the alarm. Oh, uh, the last one is for the, the current time. And the last mode is for the 20, 12 hour display. So let's try it out. Uh, first, mode one, you can change the hour for the current time. You can see it. And for second mode, you can change the minutes. For the third mode, you can change the second. It's not as apparent as the thing before. For the last, uh, for the four, uh, four mode four, you can change the hour for the alarm, and you can you can also change the minutes for the next mode. You can also change the second. I use the second in my alarm because it looks better, but I actually don't use it. Uh, because if I use a second in the alarm, the alarm will last so short, it only lasts one second, it's too short. And uh, for the last uh, mode, uh, 12 hour, I press again, you are back to 24 hour. Um, now, press this button, you can reset the whole clock, include the alarm. Let's try our alarm. So let's turn to the mode uh, five and set it as one minute and back to the 24 hour clock. Yeah. So just wait, wait it to the one minute. Uh, it's pretty long. I can actually change the uh, time, current time for second, but I can only change it one second uh, by one second. It's not so apparent as the uh, other uh, minutes or hours. So when it reach one minute, uh, the rightmost LED will start to blink for 10 seconds, like this. Yeah. And it will last for 10 seconds to the 10 seconds there. And um, so this is our alarm. But uh, we also have some problem with our last module, which is uh, 24 hours, uh, which, is tw which is 12 hours, like this. You can see in the module 8. Yeah, it can no, uh, it can show the second and the minutes normally, and the first digital of uh, hour normally, but I don't know why it's a uh, it's uh, second digit for the hour is always eight. Uh, whatever we do for uh, on the code is always keep eight. I don't know what's going wrong with this this digit, and it can also show the uh, afternoon and afternoon and before the noon normally with the lighter a or p so so the time now is zero zero two minutes eleven seconds so it's a um so uh this is our lab 
demonstration, level demonstration. That's all. Thank you. Uh, we actually also do the speaker for the alarm, but we, I can't demonstrate it here because I forgot to, my, to bring my air, air phone with me. Uh, but I can show you on our uh, simulation and the wind form.